Hi guys. And now I'll let the tune start. Lovely. I love this tune, it's fucking great. Right. Well, the reason we're here today is I'm uh, looking to continue uh, our little nuggets of uh, information. Uh, or my little coffee here to accompany us. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm, like I said in my previous video is we're not going to do two and a half hour long fucking PowerPoint lessons that are going to take forever and you're going to fall asleep within the first 10 minutes or just turn that off. So um, today's lesson, as you can see, well I hope you can see, is we're going to explain electrical filaments, alright? Simple as possible, alright? And I was always, uh, like, essentially we're not your babysitter, so we want, like, in order to get good at this game, or to improve, uh, is to use your brain, this here, see the whole idea of joining a big corporation and uh, basically mindlessly pressing the F1, it's just not going to work. I joined the fleet once and uh, it was a ganking fleet and it's literally you get targets handed to you, you don't even have to do any flying and I can I can do it, you know what I mean, so, but anyway that's up to you. The point of today is we'll explain electrical elements, ignore that word, ignore chaotic, we're not interested in that right now. What we're interested in is this first line of explanation. This for the first line of detail, alright, this abyssal filament We'll pull off a Tech 1 or Tech 2, we'll pull a Tech 1 or Tech 2 cruiser into a pocket of abyssal dead space experience chaotic or de destabilizing effects and disrupted by el massive electrical storms that will reduce EM resistance but enhance ship capacitor recharging, okay? So whenever you are fitting a ship whatever one you decide and keep it in mind no one can really ever see by the healer but if you want to be a wee bit more creative whenever you fit your healer or your ikitursa or sacrilege or whatever ship you're going to take in what you want to do the em resistance is the ship resistances that you have obviously within the site that is going to be the em resistances are going to be reduced all right so what you want to do is fit your ship to compensate for that so for example on the healer that i use you have i have a, i have an em rig on it to compensate for the lost em resistance uh, on top of that um the em resistance the same applies to whatever you're shooting at so as a result what you want to do is fit your ship to maximize damage application of em damage type so anything that you shoot missiles or anything like that you want to be able to use em damage the only exception is the healer because you get a special little bonus for kinetic and thermal so that doesn't apply but anyway we'll, we'll keep it simple um so whenever you apply any damage say for example a sacrilege or a nikki or something like that you're looking for em damage application um and on top of that what you want to do is try and capitalize on a ship that would use that would benefit from an enhanced ship capacitor recharging so that obviously encourages you more to use the healer an active fit healer so ship booster or whatever it will just help you it will, it will help you in terms of capacitor essentially but like i said like no one can ever really see past the healer but for new guys that are starting out, this is what this these two things mean. So any of your missiles and anything like that, if you look at the attributes of your missiles or the ammo you're going to use or whatever, try and design your ship around EM damage and you will apply the best damage that you can. Keep it in mind that your capacitor recharge rate is improved so that's essentially that's what that means a lot of it is self-explanatory 
but uh, I just wanted to, to, to put that in there, to throw that information out there. Um, so yes, that's today's lesson. That's kind of it, really. All right. Uh, like I said, I, I emphasised on using a kind of simple approach to it. Uh, if you ever catch me streaming or anything like that, what I want you to do is uh, there is a command that will bring it up. I'll also put it in the description for you. It is a, a sheet that gives you the targets that you're going to be shooting at in an abyssal. So you pick and choose whatever one's going to be the most threat to your ship. All right, and that will give you an idea of of uh, what tags you want to use, things like that. All right, hopefully that will help you. But I'll upload this right now. No editing or in that. It's just me talking shit essentially. But hopefully this would benefit any feedback or any any further suggestions to improve my videos or to improve this year. Like I said, simplicity is. A lack of professionalism is always the best way as well. I always found a lot more fun as well. But anyway, I'll shut up now. So, take it easy guys. Until next time.